When you have a series of records like these, you sometimes want very simple subtotals. That is probably not so complicated, but if you want a different format for the subtotals, here per department, a different color, and then per location, another color, that is a little more work. How do you do that? I will show you. Sometimes you want a space between, in this case, the locations, so you can see more structure in the whole thing. And then maybe finally you want the subtotals in surrounded by border lines, so it is easier to read the overview. How do you do all of this? First let's start with how do you get the subtotals. I'm going to make two levels. But you can do three levels, four levels, etc. And the nice thing is, once you have those levels, you can always go to certain levels and get just that part, that part, or that part. How do you do that? To, do, to start it, it is very simple, but don't forget the first rule. You have to sort your records appropriately. I'm going to sort by location and then by department. Click anywhere inside your database, data. You have to sort appropriately. So go to the sort button. Don't click on A to Z, but go to the sort button. So you have multiple options. First I'm going to sort by location. That is the first level. And then we add a level by department. And when you do that, you will see that all the Bostonians are together and in Boston, the accounting people, management and marketing. Then we are going to create subtotals. Data, subtotal. At each change in, when the location changes, when Boston changes into Cambridge, then we want a sum of probably the salaries. Make sure that you click location off. It, it always selects the last one. You want just the sum of the salaries. And when you click on OK, it will do that. Now we have a subtotal for Boston, etc. Now inside Boston, we want to also subtotal per department. That's why you had to sort them appropriately. So we go again to data, subtotal. But before I do anything else, I'm going to say do not replace what I have already. This time we want to subtotal per department. We sum the salaries again. And now we get accounting, management total, marketing total. The only thing is now that you want to have a different format for those subtotals. Otherwise it's hard to read. So we are going to format level 3. We go to level 3, we highlight what we want, and we are going to format that differently. Don't change the format now, for it will also include the in-between rows. Between 4 and 8 there are many rows that will also be formatted that way. So you have to select the visible cells only. You do that through Home, Find and Select, go to Special, Visible cells only. Okay. And now you can see there are lines in between, so you are not affecting the hidden rows. So I'm going to, ch to choose one of those options, whatever you want. Okay. And now when you when you look at the total thing again, you will see that only those are in a different color. But also the Boston totals. So now we are going to level 2. We highlight what we have in there. Again, visible cells only, home, find and select, go to special, visible cells only, and change the format of those cells. So now we should have a structure that shows everything in different colors. The next issue is how do you get a special line in between them? That is not as easy as it looks. There are several ways, but probably the easiest one is the following. 
we are going to do this. We insert a new column before A. Right click, insert. And in A2 we are going to put a formula equals if the right of F1, later on we want this one and that one, but take the one in the previous row F1, comma, the last five characters to the right if that happens to have in it the word total or whatever is the word that you have in there comma, then put a one in there comma, otherwise nothing, double quotes, double quotes close your if function and copy that formula down probably with a double click and you will see there is a one here after the Boston total and one after the Cambridge total so now we are going to do something similar again we are going to filter for the ones you know how you can filter very easily you go to data filter and now you get nice buttons on way on top so let's say we want only the ones we are going to highlight that section visible cells only home find and select go to special visible cells only and then uh, this is the, the, the most complicated step probably home insert sheet rows so now when we look at level 4 you see there is an empty row in between those things you, you don't need column A anymore that was just a temporary column so I'm deleting that one and now I have space after Boston, Cambridge etc to do a border around Boston total for instance that is basically very simple all you have to do is the following you go to level 2 so you have only the, the totals okay. then select the entire range for your own boundaries around the whole section visible cells only and give them a thick border and that's what you got and that's what you asked for these are a few simple tricks to make your sheets, your spreadsheets more structured, easier to read for the eye there is much more you want to know I created a CD-ROM for you based on 2007 but it's also applicable to 2010-2013 this is what is in there it is a very rich CD-ROM, it has more than 1500 slides and there is an interactive tool so it tests your knowledge each time that you get it and otherwise you just go back. You can find it at genesispc.com